oldest civilization. And from almost time immemorial, our forefathers taught us Pita, Mata, Acharya, Devo Bhavo, Atithi, Devo Bhavo. Parents are to be respected like as we respect God. That is the social value which we are enshrined in our civilizations. And if there be a deviation, I think we ought to collectively take steps for rectifying it. We have the collective responsibility to establish and sustain an environment of safety, security, for all the vulnerable sections of our society, including our senior citizens. Article 41 of the Constitution of India provides inter that the state shall, within its economic capacity and development, make specific provisions for the securing public assistance to the elderly persons. Various measures are being taken. Some of them have been outlined by the distinguished minister in, the, in charge of the department, and many more are likely to follow with the advancement of time. With the advancement of medical care and health services, rising self-expectancy, is now a global phenomenon leading to an unprecedented rise in the numbers of senior citizens in all societies around the world. And India is no exception. In the next 15 years, India is going to face a peculiar problem more than half of its population, total population, are likely to be less than 40 years of age, which can be broadly described as young. More than 50% of the young population. India will have the abode of largest working forces in the world by 2025. And exactly at the same time, we will have one of the largest aging population, the number of elders being increased from 7.66 crores in 2001 to 17.32 crores in 2026. Therefore, our policy makers, thinkers, planners will have to address these issues and to meet these two competing demands from the resources. And by resources, I don't mean merely financial resources, financial resources, technical resources, all sorts of resources necessary for the development of society. It is ironical that economic growth, modernization, Migration of our youth to urban areas have created a situation where the elderly people being deprived of the respect, love, and care that they richly deserve. The greatest tragedy of old age is perception of being unwanted and unloved and having no purpose in life. Our traditional joint family system that provided tremendous emotional and physical comfort and support to our elderly people is fast giving way to the nuclear family structure. 